All right, I uh, actually captured an ISS solar transit. Uh, this was, as you see, June the 5th, 2019. I just now got around to uploading this. Um, and I'm going to compare it to some other things. Uh, I found a video of a bird transiting the moon, and I also personally filmed a child's balloon transiting the sun. Um, I do not believe the ISS <laughs> is what they say it is. Um, there's no way there's people on it. There's no way it's 250 miles away. You know, it's not in it's not in outer space and gravity is close. Whatever it is, it's close. Um, a lot of different theories, but you can watch um, watch what I've got here and just decide for yourself what you think. Okay, this is full speed. See, it's zoom across the sun. I slowed it down a little bit. I just slowed it down in stages. Um, I do this uh, with Wondershare Filmora as a software I use to do all this editing. You can slow down video, zoom in, do all kinds of stuff with it. It's pretty neat. And then I believe this is slowed down a hundred times, I believe, on this one. You know, there's something there, but if it was the size they say it is and going as fast as it, they say it was, you would not be able to see it. And what I've tried to explain to people is that you can't tell by that how far away that is or how big it is. You know, I think the sun's close. Here's some screen grabs I did. Uh, I filmed this with the P1000 and I actually did these on the camera on the P1000. I uh, freeze framed and did uh, screenshots on the camera. But like I say, you know, if that thing was 250 miles away and just slightly bigger than a 747 and roughly the size of a football field, you would not be able to see it. I don't think. I think it's way closer. The sun's way closer. And um, I'll show you something really interesting with this other video I found with a bird crossing the moon. It actually looks like the bird's shadow was on the moon. Um, I'll have that come up here in a minute. But as you can see, uh, there's something there. There's no doubt about it. But if you can't watch any of the ISS supposed live footage and see all the fakery that they're pulling, then either you're not looking or you just your cognitive dissonance is just too high. Yeah, you know, somebody the other day was saying, "Oh, you know, it's got to be real because you can see it." You know? There's no telling how far away that is or what size it is. I think it's probably okay. There's a balloon I filmed going across the sun. See how fast that was? Go back a little bit. See how fast that balloon zoomed across the sun. I looked away from the camera and I couldn't see the balloon, so I have no idea how far away it is. This was when I was doing a live stream. Um, I will actually show you the live stream. This is on my channel. Um, I was live streaming and I had top chat, uh, had a little chat box going. But this was my reaction. So I had no idea what it was when I saw it. This is my live reaction. What the heck was that? Okay, I'll link this. Uh, I'll link this video in the description if you want to watch it. Um, somebody had accused me. I was taking pictures of sunspots, and <laughs> so many people don't know what the sun looks like. Um, 
because NASA puts out the cartoons of the flames and all. <clears throat> they actually accused me of faking the sun footage and <laughs> said it was a, uh, well, they told me that they thought I was filming a ping pong ball or something. But anyway. Okay, and I'm going to slow this balloon footage down. That's quarter speed. That's how I could tell it was a balloon. And then uh, I believe this is 10 times slower. And I think I jumped to 100 times slower. Yeah, this is 100 times slower. Of course, I know this is much closer than whatever the ISS is, but not knowing how far away that is or how fast it's going, I mean, there's no way you could calculate the speed of that balloon because <laughs> you don't know the size of the sun. You don't know how far away it is. You've been told it's 93 million miles away. There's no, there's no way. No, just open your eyes. the balloon at 100 times slower. Okay, and there was the bird flying in front of the moon. Um, let's back this up just a touch. I slow it down, but pay attention when it goes from the bottom left to the top right. You can actually, it appears that the shadow from the bird is on the moon. See it right there? Now I'm slowing it down. See the shadow going with it? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> how a bird would be casting a shadow on the moon. That's amazing. I mean, this I found this. This is somebody else's video. I will link this in the description also. Um, and this is slowed way down. Uh, there's the bird in the shadow there. There's the bird. I mean, you can actually see it flapping its wings. You can see the shadow coming across back here. See the bird in the shadow. This will slow down a hundred times. Uh, not very clear, but it was the ISS. I mean that's exactly what <laughs> I mean is that bird two hundred and fifty miles away going seventeen thousand five hundred miles an hour? Kinda doubt it. <clears throat> There are birds that can fly. You know, there's no telling how big that bird is or how far away it is. There's no possible way of knowing. But it does appear to be casting a shadow on the moon. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that's what it is, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, this is some amazing footage. You can watch the. That's how I will post the link to this video also, but I will show you. It was just somebody out filming the moon one night and I happened to catch this. I mean, and I've... I've never caught anything like this myself. But... Uh, here we go, zoomed way in. It's not very clear, but... You can definitely see... It looks like it's casting a shadow. Here's the... video I got that from. right there <clears throat> so I will link this in the description um, also if you've never seen uh, any of this ISS fakery footage I mean this is on my channel I've mirrored this from somebody else but watch any 
ISS footage. You can find this stuff in it. It's so easy. Watch the harness as it starts to pull her up. The hairspray. I mean, <laughs> whatever the ISS is, there are not people in it. This is filmed in a studio <clears throat> on the ground somewhere. They're not flying around 250 miles above the earth. Watch this guy get caught up in his harness. And to me, it looks like they're hanging upside down right there. See how the guy's kind of holding his hand and then his shirt should kind of up. I watch to see his foot get tangled. Foot gets tangled in the harness wire. <laughs> so I believe. Looks to me like he's already hanging upside down and trying to do a flip. Because I said, watch him. He holds his hands and his shirts kind of going up. You can see the look. You can see the harness belt <laughs> in his shirt around his chest. Uh, here's another one. Looks like he maybe hit his harness wire and had to reach around the other side to get the microphone. <laughs> They do a terrible job at faking it. I mean, I think they could do it better, but I think they just don't care. I think they're trying to see who's paying attention to this stuff. Uh, here's another good one. Let's see, this foot got tangled up. He reached up above his head to grab the wire. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. If you can't see that this is fake, <laughs> there's something wrong. You see, he looked up. He's trying to help him with his harness. <laughs> and this, that's uh, that bald guy is, uh, what, what I think, I think his name Scott Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> this is all filmed in the studio. There's not people flying around and whatever the hell that is up there. But anyway, this is all I got for this one. Let me know what you think in the comments.